What's up, guys? M. Rose Hoops back today with another video. And today we are back with another X Factor, uh, you know, installment. Here to discuss a player on a team that I think, if they are utilized correctly, they can really, really, really help their squad. Now, with a team like the Pistons, there's a lot of routes you could take. I try my best not to go with the biggest names or the rookie, you know, going to second year guys, because I think we all know. So for me, my pick is going to be upcoming fifth year player Isaiah Stewart, who last season averaged 11, 7, and 2 on 49 from the field, 38 from three on about four threes a game, and 75 from the line, about two free throws a game. Stewart, to me, again, I don't think he's going to be a, a star in the league. But for a team like the Pistons where you need spacing and you want a sign of somewhat consistency, I really do think Isaiah Stewart is the guy that you should go for. So, without further ado, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're almost there to 1K, boys. We can smash that goal. Let's get it. So, going right in here, right? We got uh, the man no longer in the league. Jalen Durant gets the screen. Stewart, a little tag screen, slides back. Now, at this point, Kevin Love is in the post. I love this move. That he gets that elbow right inside to create that outside separation, right? Beautiful little spin around. Even says too little. Nah, 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 nah. hey, that's big K love. Let's calm down. Right, Jalen Duran gets the ball out. Now, this is important. Wing, boom. First of all, because this pass from Cade, beautiful, right? Great read. You are, he already knew. Like, as he's turning that corner, he's like, okay, they're not respecting him. Boom. Grabs and shoots, right? Knocks it down. Games like that or shots like that are something that this team has been missing for a long time, like a very long time. Thompson gets the ball. Again, Isaiah Stewart calls for it in the corner. Man wasn't respecting it. P.J. Washington gets another three. Now, again, the point isn't to say that this dude is going to be the greatest scorer on this team. But for years, and even in my interview with, uh, you know, for the Detroit Pistons, you know, with, you know, their content creator, a big part of it was spacing is what Cade Cunningham needs. And that's exactly what Isaiah Stewart can provide. Now, do I think he necessarily is a starter? I don't know. I could see it, but if so, they got to run him as a four. I think his time at a five, even if it's a backup five, I, I kind of don't see it. Um... He's got the strength and the frame, but not the height. And I think that that matters, right? But either way, gets the ball out, right? Starts pushing. And the speed, thats to me, that's just a beautiful move, right? Chet fully commits to going to the right. Nice little Euro. Back over the right hand. Can't get its hands on it. Or he does get his hand on it, but at that point, is a goaltend. And that is how you do it. Like, that is a really, really good move by Isaiah Stewart. Again, I do not think he's going to be the greatest scorer ever. But the idea here is what he provides for guys like Cade. It, it's just invaluable. Like, even here. Like, that little hook shot, right? He can, like, I think the idea here and what I'm trying to show is that Stewart can be a a, a quick self-creator. Like, he doesn't need to dribble the, the air out of the ball to get to a shot. But he can also be someone off ball that K can look to and be like, okay, I know I'm kicking it to, uh, you know, to Stu. And he can hit that shot. Like, I'm not concerned. Now, his three ball, I'm hoping, and I think obviously the Pistons are also hoping, that the three ball stays consistent. If the three ball stays the way that it has been off of last year, that's huge. Because through the drafting of Ron Holland, even then, shooting is still not something that this team has really been able to acquire. Um, so for them to have developed shooting within what they have already could be huge. And again, I think that's part of my point is like Isaiah Stewart could be a sign of consistency on a team where consistency is very much missing. And then... Uh, Stewart as a defender, man, like the quickness, 
right keeps the man right next to him re catch it back up gets the hand right isaiah stewart is a i think underrated athlete like, i don't think we talk about like his like even here right like the way he like sort of shuffles to like keep steph at a certain angle right like he forces steph to funnel this way and gets up to block it like that's just a great play now is that a great shot by steph no but sometimes great defense is taking advantage of poor offense and even here right Giannis gets past a uh you know asar thompson goes up meet is met at the rim by stewart like the timing on this is this is just excellent defense like, i'm just being, like this is perfect timing right towards the release point like that is how you play right and, and again like, even here he gets dame i think as a rim protector he's actually not bad like i really don't think so again i and we talked about this in my interview obviously the hope is that Jalen duran significantly steps up his game defensively but at that point too if you could have isaiah stewart be a little bit of a roamer kind of defender i don't think he's bad at all like i really don't like i don't think he could guard one through five or something but the point there was was to show you and even here right you get someone really quick like dg right mobley just the pick and the idea is this is so much more advantageous garland tries to get past right but even then, what Stewart does here that's super smart, he forces that arm right towards Garland so that now it's closing off the potential to get the shot up. Blocked by Stewart, right? Like, that's excellent defense. I think he has the mobility and the quickness to really do something. And again, that's not always the case. So I guess my point there is that I think he's actually underrated as a defender. Again, with a team like this, it's always tough because the team isn't very good, right? But I think at the end of the day, he gives you effort and hustle, which is invaluable in any sport. When you have that guy with effort, he can really change the game. And I think as a scorer, what he could provide for you, as a defender, what he provides for this team, he can really help. Like, I think he's a piece of the Pistons should necessarily hold on to. Now, I'm not saying they got to give him a super duper max or like, you know, pay him like he's Jason Tatum. But I also wouldn't, like, let him walk. Now, if you can trade him and someone else for, like, a really, really, really good young player or something or a really good piece, sure, I get that. But otherwise, I think he's one of the few young guys. That I, If I'm Detroit, I'm like, let's hold on to Stewart. Like, this is someone that I think we could really, like, can really help us and help Cade in what we're trying to do for him, which is shooting, defense, and just providing some form of spacing. And then, honestly, I don't even think... I think at times he's a really good passer. Like, we're going to see here, right? Duran does a little slip over, right? Gets the ball out to Ivy. Ivy gets it out to the corner, right? One more. Back out to Stewart. Quick reads, right? It's, it's the fact that he can make those reads because I'm sure I, I'm going to hear Imster. That's not that impressive. Imster, this is... But the point is, is that not everyone in the league makes those reads. For better or for worse, it's just a fact. Right? So even here. Right? Sasser holds on. Out to the corner. Pumps. Jimmy stays on it. Martin comes over to double. That is a great... Like, I'm being so real. Like, if that was a star, whatever, that's on ESPN for the next week. That's a great pass. Like, that's a great read. Three ball, right? You're back in the game. Like, what he provides as, like, a quick read guy, again, invaluable on teams. Because not everyone can do it. Takes advantage of Franz collapsing. Gets the K3 ball to go, right? Even here. Tries to get K3 with the screen. Not, not the best screen, right? Pumps. Now Mobley's on him. So now the, the rim is more open. Great pass to Cade, who has a tough finish. Like, those are the things that a stat sheet can't always show, right? Like, even when I read it, he has two assists a game. So 
I'm not here to say he should have the ball in his hands. No, that's Cade's job. You have too many guys that need the ball. But what he does without it and what he can do, even if you need him to have the ball, I think it's invaluable. So usually in these videos, right, I sort of give a projection for what I think Isaiah Stewart could be. Now, it's going to be hard because he's got a lot of guys on the team that need the ball. Hopefully, if I'm the Pistons next year, I see him get up to 14. I'd probably say like seven again, maybe eight or nine boards. Honestly, I want him to hit two, two and a half assists a game. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if he gets back up to like a block, block and a half. What he does is really, really good. Like, and he's getting the personal fouls down. Like he he's at his, he was at his career low at 2.2, right? I think this guy is something that this Pistons team doesn't have, which is a genuinely consistent guy. Like I don't think he is one night like, oh, he got us 28. And the next night he got us five. Like even a consistent 15 tonight, that's really damn important on any NBA team. So again, guys, let me know anything down below. Do you think Isaiah Stewart should be a piece that this Pistons team holds on to? Or should they immediately be like, oh, we could trade this guy to get, we got to give up Stewart. Okay, see ya. Let me know anything down below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know who you want me to cover next. I'm always down. As always, guys, this was Emerson No Soups. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace out.